sponsored by Women Technology. Take advantage of our end of summer promotion, offering a $30 off bundle discount on the whole test takeout panel controls through September 2021. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today's valued viewer request is from Privateer454. Good morning, Cap. Valued viewer request for you. Being inspired by the great aircraft carrier takeoff and landing race, oh yes I remember, and the F-35s taking off vertically, is maximum vertical takeoff and landing weights model in DCS for the F-35 and the Harrier. Thanks for the great content. Thanks very much, sir. We'll start with the Harrier. Obviously, I know because I've been doing this for years what's going to happen, but what's really going to be interesting to you, Valid viewers, is this is a good example to see the difference between the different types of flight models. I know when we do all our dogfights, I bang on about all the different types of flight models and why they're so important. And I'm fully aware that none of you take any notice or care, but hopefully we can kind of drum in why flight models are so important and why you should care about the difference of them. We're going to start, oh, I should say, RC's just been called back to the massive fire in California and we're not going to be seeing him probably for more weeks. That's life, I'm afraid. He's got to go and do his duty. So we've managed to hook Simba in again. Say hello, Simba. Hello, viewers. If we go to our loadout valued viewers, uh, we have a weight of 21,000 pounds currently. That's our current weight with our current loadout. The Pegasus engine that we have in our AV-8B produces max thrust just over 23,000 pounds. As long as the figure from our engine is larger than our weight, then the plane can take off. It's just like a Saturn V rocket. If you can produce more thrust than the current weight of the vehicle, then you can push upwards. And VTOL is no different, basically. We do have to worry about things like overheating the engine and stuff like that, but essentially that's it. So. With 21,000 pounds in our current aircraft, we are going to show you that we can just, just take off vertically because that is still fairly heavy. So I am going to prep myself, try and remember how to. So engine brake off, engine brake off, nozzles down. You can actually see the throttle R. R there is the, the current revolutions of our engine in percent. Water on, and that's going to help cool our engine. Okay, Simba, we're going to do vertical takeoff on three, two, one, go. Power on. Spooling up the Pegasus, big engine, big, relatively big bypass, so it's a slow spooler. And you can see at full power, we just overcome gravity. And what we're going to do is then slowly transfer forwards, slowly transfer forwards, start getting to lift in the wings. We can't keep this throttle forever, we will eventually overheat the engine and destroy the engine. But just to get, just to get going, I think. Whoop, 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 whoop. We are out of here. Okay, Zimba. Now we don't need to go and land. You can take my word for it. We can go and land, and it's fine. Uh, it's a little heavy for landing, but it will land successfully. This time we are going to go completely nuts with our loadout. Okay, I'm loaded. I got twenty-nine thousand pounds. How did you? What, how much did you get, Simba? Thirty-one, one fifty. Wow, he got his really fat. Prepare to hear some very unhappy and burning Pegasi. Pega, what's Pegasies in plural? Pegasi? Don't know. Three, two, one. Rev. Get that baby revving. Big engine takes a long time to get it spooled. You can see the suspension unloading, valued viewers. But she is not moving forward. And if anything, I am kind of. Oh my God. No. I can't get up. I'm just kind of floating around in ground effect. A bit like a helicopter. And I'm giving up there before the engine burns out. And stop. No, you can't. You can kind of like unload the suspension a bit. So the plane only weighs uh, 6,000 pounds. But uh, only, I say. Uh, we're going to try a... Uh, st ooh, Zimba. We're going to try stovel takeoff now. And show that we can maybe just get airborne with this weight. Maybe. Okay, Simba, make sure your water is on, and we wish you all the luck of the Irish. There he goes. Wishing the best. Nozzles are coming down. Can he get enough lift over those wings? Simba, yeah, fly, 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 fly. Fly, oh, no. No, yes, he did it. 31,000 pounds. Well done, Simba. Not bad, not bad. Um, and just for the fun, come in and land now and see what happens. Just try and land it one way or another. I don't, don't care how you do it. I just want to show you that it's basically impossible with 31,000 pound Harrier. Oh, she's a piggy. It's yes, going to take is. a while to get back. Yes, it is. That little Pegasus. 
Yeah, you'll have to do a real, real kind of stovel land at about 80 knots or something. Interesting approach, Simba. Oh, I'm running out of water. He's running out of water. He's going down. He's going down. Okay, so that was trying to land. That was, you basically have no control of the plane at that speed, at that heavy. So, first of all, is the Harrier modelled for vertical takeoff with weight? Yes, as you see, you can't get in the air. Um, in terms of landing, what happens when you try and land heavy? Well, as you can see, lots of damage occurs if you're too heavy. If you're just overweight, but not that heavy, you can land, and yes, you will smash your gear up and stuff. If you are within weight regime for landing, then you can land either Stovel or VTOL. It's completely modelled realistically and that's because we've got an EFM an external flight model is one of the three realistic types of flight model EFM AFM PFM there are enough values and parameters in there for the devs to play with to make it realistic now we're going to do the same test but with an SFM this is a standard flight model this is the kind of things you see in the planes that people dogfight with the Raptors and the SU-57s and all the popular planes and stuff like that and you can see the problem with having an SFM is that the guys have very little values to play with and therefore realism simply isn't possible. Uh, let's jump in our lovely F-35s. We've got nearly twice as much power as a Harrier. We've got 40,000 pounds of thrust according to Wikipedia. We are up, 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 oh, overweight here. That's uh, slightly problematic and I can't make it any lighter. So that's okay. We are just overweight at the moment and we can't do a vertical takeoff when we're playing as humans we're just going to do the uh, ramp takeoff slightly overweight just slightly overweight so if you'd come back please simba to the back give it a left and right rudder wiggle and see what it feels like uh oh uh oh no brakes no brakes no brakes no brakes uh, embarrassing for me let's just imagine you didn't see that value do us star fade star fade into optimus into, you got it baby one giveaway there is there's an FS sfm unrealistic flight model is how it acts on the ground there just aren't many variables to make it handle realistically on the ground i haven't bound my brakes in so i'm just going to go um so slightly overweight but we should be generally okay la 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 and whoop de do obviously we're up fine and we go and shoot stuff down and stuff like that. Come up, Simba. He goes up, beloved Simba, and he's up as well, no problem. I can say respawn. This time we're going to become the fat Amy is going to become obese Amy. I am now obese Amy, as you can see. I have now a weight of ba -ba -ba, 59,000 pounds. I'm pretty sure you couldn't fly in Stovel or ski ramp uh, at 60,000 pounds. That's like as heavy as a flanker with these stubby, tiny little wings and very little lift. Uh, but we're going to try it anyway. Oh, no, 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 all right, up you go, Simba. Perfect flying, no weight models. This goes like normal. I'm sure we can go land and there'll be nothing modeled there. There's one more test I want to do, which is the VTOL at 60,000 pounds. I can't do it, I need to get the AI to do it with the SFM. So, Simba, we now have an explosive robot cow AI driving this fat Amy, sorry, obese Amy, 60,000 pounds of weight, 40,000 pounds of thrust that show you the beauty of the SFM flight model. Time, yes, robot, explosive robot cows never always take their time. Right, watch this weight modelling. 40,000 pounds of thrust, 60,000 pounds of weight, and it goes up like a Saturn V. Now you see, value viewers, why I refuse to fight SFM flight models with non-SFM. It doesn't mean anything. There is no weight model in here. And I hope that helps you understand, really. Uh, that shows everything we need to show, Simba. Anything you want to add? Uh, nope. Hope you enjoyed that, and see you later.